The queue area shows all incoming tasks like calls, emails, or external tasks. In this area, you'll notice a change. The queue area is smaller due to the more compact design of the queue card. All tasks are shown in a queue card format that shows all essential details. For instance, if an incoming task is a call, the queue card displays either the caller's name or their phone number if it is available. The type of task and the service from which the task originates are displayed below the name. On the right side, the queue card shows the duration for which the task has been in the queue. There are two types of queue cards. One is the pickup card, featuring a button on the right side that allows you to pick up the task. If the incoming call is not a pickup call, you'll receive a basic queue card, and the call will be routed to you when available. Using the small arrow symbol on the right top of the queue area, you can minimize the queue area, thereby creating more room for the center section of the attendant console. This adjustment reduces the displayed call information. However, hovering over the minimized queue cards provides a tooltip with key details. Click the arrow symbol again to restore the queue area and view all the information. After accepting the call, it will appear in the active session area. In another video, we will demonstrate how to transfer calls using options like Save Transfer or Consultative Transfer in the new Attendant Console.